guys i'm sorry i couldn't upload a video last week because i've been so busy um and i didn't pretty much vlog or do anything special because i you know it's it's pointless if i don't do something good you know for you guys then what's the point of me uploading a shitty video so um i've been just busy with my you know uh, my driving because I have an exam coming up on the 18th of December So pretty much I'm just driving the car most of my time and pretty much nothing special happened So why should I pick up my camera to vlog or do something when part of my time I'm either sitting at home Watching series the flash duh or you know um i would say driving so pretty much nothing if you actually follow my snapchat or my twitter you kind of know what's going on with my videos on youtube so i don't have anything to vlog but today i picked up my camera because i wanted to apologize that i could not upload a video I'm really sorry, but I was so busy with my driving, so pretty much nothing ha nothing special happened. So why do I want to vlog? Why do I want to vlog? Vlog? Or, you know, talk about something. I do have a lot of things that I want to talk about, but it's just like time consumed because there's a lot of time when you take up your camera, you go, you need to talk something productive or something inspiring or motivation because i do have like a list that i want to talk about like i received messages from you guys and thank you so much for sending me messages it will really mean a lot to me it really do mean a lot to me that's why i actually took this time place because i kind of need to sleep right now but i wanted to do this video for you guys that's why i picked up my camera and i wanted to share this with you that you know, I'm really thankful for the 118 subscribers, even though none of you guys, um, I would say, like my videos. But it's okay, because I'm not here. Like, in my past video, I said that I'm not here to earn money. I'm only here to make you smile. Just be who you are. Just do whatever you want to do to make yourself feel good about yourself. It doesn't have to be like, you know, it doesn't have to be money. But obviously, some people think that money buys happiness. Like, it does sometimes, but not all the time. It doesn't buy happiness. So, this whole week, pretty much nothing special happened to me. It's just that um, I literally gave up on, you know... Sorry, this is my brother being annoying. I literally just gave up on my mom. Why? Because... I personally was feeling so depressed in a way because I try really hard and then I I'm, I'm not sure if my brother is at my door because he doesn't know I make videos on YouTube and that's the worst thing ever because if he knows then I'm like, doom. Wait. Let me just put some music on so he doesn't hear me. Yeah. It's good now. Um, I tried really hard, you know, to make things good for my mom but apparently the more that I try the more it become worse so I felt at one point last week on Sunday that why should I continue doing something that does not make me happy at all so I chose to just give up for a timing for maybe just leave it like that as the way it is because it's been happening that my mom doesn't talk to me for six months who has such hatred for six months towards me and i pretty much can't do anything about it it's probably her kind of 
mentality that she thinks she's doing the right thing by not talking to me but it's not good the relationship the communication it's really unhealthy so pretty much I can't do anything about it the only thing I can do is just wait patiently and I would say that I did try my best because there were a few times that I talked to her she just walked past me without saying anything and the true thing that actually hurt me most is when I talked to her she doesn't respond to me and she just walked past me like I was a ghost like wow so I talked to my boyfriend about it and he told me to just chill and just do whatever I need to do um, either logo designs or drawings listen to music just to make me feel better so I did according to what he told me I should do because he's the best advice ever and he has been helping me throughout so many years that I you know I have family problems and most people that were my friends no longer exist in my life because it's either they have done something bad towards me and I gotta say I just do not hate people who do bad to it, bad things towards me. Cause if I were to hate, it's like I'm carrying a burden heart every time I meet my friends. So, hmm, not the kind of thing I would do. Cause I am a person who wants to be happy, to just feel normal. Even though I don't kind of feel that I'm happy, but at least I have you know what it takes to have my friendship back but the true thing is the more that I try it just make things worse and I don't feel that there's a need for me to do so because it's just stupid you know and yeah so I gave up on my mom and some of my friends I gave up on them as well because as you know that I do not like politics. I do not want to go into politics or dramas because that's the only thing that will make my head go cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. It will make me go crazy. And that's not the thing that I really want to make myself go crazy for nothing. For stupid friends or stupid people around me. So what's the point of, you know, trying to make things good when it's not good at all? So I decided to just leave whatever it is just the way it is right now and then I'll figure something later doing during the time when I'm you know not bothering about them not caring about them and then recently just today a friend of mine um not gonna say the name because he I think he watches my videos so I'm not gonna say the name but whoever you are I do not hate you, okay? For whatever reason that you have done towards me, do not feel that I hate you. Or, you know, I just don't feel like talking. So that's why I just mute myself. And it's not like I dislike you. It's just that, you know, as time passes, you just feel that there's a time and place for everything. There's a time, for pl there's a time and place for play. There's a time and place for work, there's a time and place for friends, and there's a time and place for f family members, your loved ones. There's also a time and place for studies. As much as I believe that... I believe God loves you the way you are, right? So, for whatever reasons that you have done bad towards me or feel guilty towards me because you probably must have done something that I do not talk to anymore, kind of don't feel that way because if you actually feel that way, it's because you're probably guilty for whatever reason that you have done towards me. But the truth thing is... I don't hate any of you guys who has done bad towards me or break my heart or broke my heart first broke my heart, borrowed money and left um, cheated my friendship what else? cheated my money as well I would say cheated money 
um, do something that you know a guy should never ever do towards a woman. You know, should never hit them or you know abuse them, rape or whatever. But you know, God loves you for the way you are. So be happy for that. All right, don't make you make yourself feel guilty towards me whenever you meet me or you know whenever you talk to me. If you're sorry, you want to apologize, but it was just. You know, it was just so hard for you to say sorry. If you really wanted, you know, in intentionally wanted to say sorry towards me, you can just do it. You know the Nike logo. Just do it. So just do it. Don't ever feel guilty or you know you're like suffocating in a way that you feel that. Oh, I should not text Clara because I might think I'm bothering her. But I don't hate any one of you guys. To be honest, I am. I just want you guys to be happy and not, you know, be sad around me. I mean, even though we cannot go back to the past and say that, oh, I miss these memories. Oh, I miss the memories. I do miss the memories as well that I have with all of you guys, but it's just that sometimes it's time to just let go. And memory stays forever, but you know, person don't stay forever like that. I'm not gonna stay like that, you know, to to you know to make myself feel that oh, I'm happy. I have no worries. I have no worries. But the true thing is, I have a lot of worries. I have to worry about money. Um, I have to worry of my boyfriend not coming. That suck. I would say that's really horrible. A long distance relationship kind of don't fit well on me. But you know, I know that if I ever get this guy in my life, he'd be the perfect fit in my life. As far as I know, that since I'm in Malaysia. I've never encountered anything good, or more part of him is like really bad things happen to me. So I want to make my dream come true is that he comes to Malaysia to visit me. We can have tons of fun. Whatever we can do together, we can have tons of fun. And you know, he got to meet my friends. You know, and whenever go, whenever I go to US, and I get to meet his friends as well, his friends and family, which is a good thing. And I dreamt of that for years, and I still haven't got it. But I never lose hope because I believe in myself that one day he will come. I believe in you guys as well. Don't forget that. Do not forget about that. I believe that you guys were not meant to hurt me. Is this accidents happen? You know, you can't. You can't change. The past, but you can change the present. You can't ch- remember. You can't change the past, but you can change the present. So if you ever feel guilty towards me, come say sorry to me and talk to me like a normal person. Don't you know? Try to hide your feelings and you know try to say things that you don't want to say, but you just spit that out. So well, it kinda do not go in together. I would say. So yeah, so that's all for now. My vlog is kind of my, I don't know what what do I even call this a vlog or anything, but I would say it's a vlog because I actually, no, I wouldn't say it's a vlog. I would say it's just a video to tell you guys something, something that you need to hear, something that you need to know about me, and yeah, I guess that's all. And yeah, one more thing. Wish me good luck on my driving cl- my driving exam on Friday. It will really mean a lot to me. You can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. They're all public. I've opened my Instagram to public, so you guys can follow me and do not, you know, send me requests to follow me. So you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I have it, but my Facebook is kind of not for you guys. It's kind of like a family friends thing, cause I have like, I had like seven 
No, I had like 800 something, some 800 something friends on Facebook, almost nine, 900. And then I removed 400 something friends of my, fr my fr uh, friend list, friend list, friend yeah, friend list. So I want to keep my Facebook as clean as possible and no shitty people there. So I deleted people that I do not know on my Facebook and now those people there are the friends that I keep contact with. So they are from all around the world. They are from US, they are from Australia, they are from Iran, where else they are from? Uh, they are from Canada as well, they are from Japan as well and where are they from? Uh, I can't remember. There are a few countries that I'm contact with. Oh, um, Middle Eastern countries, some of them. Some of them used to stay in Malaysia and they do not stay here anymore. So I keep them in my Facebook. So yeah, this is all for now. And I hope you guys have a good day. Like I always say, stay awesome. Stay go. Never stop grinding. As I always say, you guys are awesome. You guys just do whatever you think is good. Do not try to offend anyone do not try to make someone unhappy just make them smile there's only be there's only thing why i'm on here is because i want to make you guys smile and i know my vlogs are like really boring but i'm sorry but this is all i could do now and next week i'll be going out with my girlfriend with my home girl but i'm gonna surprise her with something so i'm gonna like tell her a lie that I need to buy a shoe for a friend that I need to ship to USA in January but in fact I'm actually gonna buy her socks first um, the socks that she wants is like typical Korean Korean so she wants to get the socks and I'm gonna get the socks for her and then um, later today or next week I would say next week I will get the socks for her because it's some it's in the shopping mall and I barely go to the shopping mall these days because I was so busy with my driving and barely had time. So um, the time when we are going to meet up, I'm gonna you know I told her that you know I need your shoe size. She gave me like US nine, and I was like, um, no, you need to go with me to try because it's going to be for her. It's not for any of my friend or you know. I created that because she's I would say she's a really really innocent person like you, part of my videos that you see her she's really innocent and she cannot define if it's the right thing or the true thing or the wrong thing she cannot define that well I wouldn't blame her because she's too young she's too 21 so we are five years apart so we pretty much click very well if you can actually see my uh, my videos she clicks really well with me so um, I'm gonna make her birthday gonna get her a birthday present because her birthday falls on January 4th and then January 15th is my boyfriend's birthday oh my god <laughs> and he's not gonna be here so I'm gonna surprise him as well and I might not surprise him I don't know it depends whether I have money to ship the stuff to him so um, I'm gonna do a video on that you know um, when I see her in January, I'll be seeing her in, you know, um, I'll be seeing her in December as well, like this month, to just buy the socks. But I wouldn't tell her that the socks is for her. I'm just gonna say, pick the socks color. Which one you think is good? She's probably gonna think, she's probably gonna think that it's not for her. That, like I said, she's really innocent. She barely could tell which is right, which is wrong. So I'm gonna do that part part one first and then part two i'm gonna be you know telling her oh i need to buy a shoe for a friend her birthday falls on the january 14 okay january 14 and i need to ship the stuff on january the first or the second because the first is the new year so usually the post office is not open on the first so i'm gonna tell her that i need to ship the stuff by um january 4th then it gets on t in time, you know, in US. That's why I told her that then she was like, okay, let's go shopping and then we will, you know, we can find the shoe size and the proper shoe to, you know. Because I was planning to get her these um, shoes, but they are not sports shoes. They are just casual shoes that you wear out for, you know, 
going out with your friends and I've seen one of the shoe it was pretty much ripped so I wanted to get her something like I said I always wanted to make my friend smile so that's the only thing I could do for her now because I don't know I don't know I just want to make my friend smile especially her she means a lot to me so yeah this is all for now I'm sorry for my video that's so long okay bye bye stay go stay awesome never stop grinding and I'll see you guys next week bye